So I've been seeing a lot of these so-called infinity mirror tables around the internet lately, and it just so happens my table broke <gasps> six months ago, and I'm still living like this. Behind, behind, behind. It's coming, it's coming. Two, 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 one, one. So in this video, I'm gonna transform this crappy old table into an infinity mirror room. Now you may be wondering, Will, couldn't you just plop a piece of plywood on top and call it a day? And yeah, I could, but I wanna spend an absurd amount of money on a stupid project to fuel my endless engineering addiction. And last time I checked, it's because I can. To keep all my thoughts together, I created a plan. And step one of the plan was to clean up the table. So I removed the legs and then hacked out all these little wooden pieces on the inside of the table, which was oddly satisfying. And then sanded down the sides, nice and smooth, ready for the frame. Next, I created a 3D model of the table in SolidWorks to figure out how all the components would fit together. This includes the glass pane, the mirror film, the mirror itself, and the frame. To assemble it, the mirror slides into a channel on the inside of the frame before that whole piece is lowered into the table. Next, the mirror film is applied to the glass pane before it is lowered into the table as well. What's not shown in this design is that I'm going to be wrapping LEDs around the inside of the frame as a light source. This setup will give the desired infinity mirror effect by reflecting light between the bottom real mirror and the mirror film on the underside of the glass pane. This takes us to step two, where I built a frame from some old wood laying around my garage, then cut a slit on the table saw on the inside of every piece so the mirror has something to lay in. Next, it was time to paint. I chose black because it will absorb a lot of light. Ah. <sighs> This takes us on to step three, which is make the black box. Now you're probably wondering what the black box is because I haven't explained it up until now. And basically what it is, is it's gonna be a rectangular prism with LEDs all around it. And it's gonna go in the center of the table and will hopefully provide another layer of depth and make it a little bit more unique. Okay, so I assembled it wrong and I assembled the painted side down. But we improvise. It's good to know that you will always make mistakes in your project, and I am definitely no exception. From here, I began wrapping my LEDs around the mysterious black box, and I ended up going with three layers. To add a little spirit to my table, I wanted to add a logo to the top of the black box, and me being the boring university student I am, I decided to go with my house number, which is 222. So I 3D printed the numbers, and to make this cool, I figured I'd fill these things with epoxy, and then have a light that shines under them to produce some sort of glowing effect. Here I am adding in the epoxy, then I had to let them dry, give it a little sand down and bing, bang, boom, the logo is done. This brings us on to step five, which proved to be one of the hardest parts of this project. I tried a glass cutter. I tried this little ball thing, which honestly had no hope from the start. And before I could even get my chainsaw going, it broke. So I am not sponsored, but I do have to give a big shout out to One Day Glass, as clearly my glass cutting skills need work. For those curious, I got a 1 8 inch thick mirror to go inside the table, and I got a sheet of 3 8 inch tempered glass for the tabletop. Now it's time to add the mirror film. I applied this with a little bit of water and a squeegee, and as you can see, my glass is now reflective. Now finally, it's time to put this whole thing together. The first thing I did was slip the mirror into the respective slots all throughout the inside of the frame before sliding over the table skeleton with the help of my dad. The thing fit like a freaking glove. I stuck these two fluorescent lights onto the mirror, which will ultimately end up under the black box and be the light source for the logo. And yes, I unfortunately broke the mirror. Next, I wrapped my LEDs around the inside of the frame and this is how it looked once I was done and I had to paint all my LEDs black because I'm an idiot and didn't order black LEDs. I ran the LED strips behind one of the legs to the underside of the table where I soldered all the wires to the respective power sources. To control the lights in this table, I'm gonna need a lot of switches. And so to accompany that, I'm gonna design a switch box. It took me five minutes to design and about an hour and a half to print. I screwed her on and then popped my switches in. Now here I'm just wiring everything up to the switches. There are five switches total. So three of them control the lights on the inside of the frame. One controls the lights to the black box and the last one controls the lights to the logo. Now here I am attaching the legs back on with copious amounts of Gorilla Glue and a couple of screws. After giving the mirror one final wipe down, me and my brother lowered the glass onto the table. It's in, oh my God, it's in. Now all that's left to do is plug the table in and fire it up.
Thanks for watching and make sure to look out for my next video where me and my twin brother make a PS4 remote controlled couch.